Good morning, Gracians. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Brother Benjamin and I serve in both Grace Kids and Grace Missions. Today is the 23rd day of the 40 days of prayer for our beloved nation. Through our prayers, God will continue to advance His kingdom purposes in this nation. The title of today's sharing is In Christ Alone. And we will be reflecting on Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Let us read verse 1 to 3 together. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation. For we are the circumcision, who worship God in the spirit rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Yesterday, Pastor Chadrick had taught us that in verse 1, we are called to rejoice because we have Jesus Christ as our Saviour. The joy of the Lord is our strength. In verses 2 and 3, Paul was showing the contrast between the opponents of the Gospel and the true believers of God. He used an interesting metaphor to describe God's opponents. He called them dogs, and it was such an irony because some of the ancient Jews used the word to describe the Gentiles as they were uncircumcised and ceremonially unclean. He went on to explain what true circumcision meant. We can only obtain spiritual cleanliness in Christ alone and not through our own abilities or any other earthly means. It is through Christ that we are clean, free, and able to accomplish great things for His Kingdom. Let us reflect on these verses and understand how this lesson applies in our lives. I believe at times, in our overzealousness, we may have forcefully corrected a fellow brother or sister in Christ through our own efforts. Or in other instances, we serve God faithfully, becoming a model Christian yet failing to grow and feed ourselves spiritually by doing our daily quiet time. We are putting more confidence in our own abilities. I am guilty of this at times. The amazing thing is that Jesus can use imperfect people like us. Only by spending time and relying on Him alone are we truly able to be spiritually clean and grow to our full potential. Please join me for a personal prayer of transformation. Thereafter, we will pray for the church at large. The prayer pointers are on the screen. The first point is to pray for a transformation of our heart through reliance on Christ alone. For point two is to pray for the transformation of our church that our service becomes a reflection of our reliance on God. I will give you some time to pray over these items yourselves before leading you in a prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today's devotional. We surrender and we rely on Christ alone in our spiritual journey, that through Him we are able to rejoice, overcome our difficulties, and worship you in spirit. We pray for a transformed church. When we serve in our church, community, or workplace, it is a reflection of our reliance upon you and not on confidence based upon earthly means. Here in the love of Christ, we will stand, and may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Grace Every Morning. As we engage in 40 days of prayer for the nation, do visit the Love Singapore 40-day prayer website for the written devotional and gather in your grace groups or families to pray for Singapore this week. Have a blessed Saturday and see you in church this weekend. Goodbye.